Uh, I might actually want to keep this recurring villain to bait out a hex. So that way our mortal prelate keeps living. And then Consecration is good if he's Murlocs. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep this. Recurring Villain baits out a Hex. Consecration is good against Murlocs. Called to Adventure draws our Prelate. Uh, Mustard. So have I ever tried making a Warlock deck? Yes. Um, yes, I have, Mustard. So I do also post quite a few decks under Hearthpone. So check out my decks on Hearthpone. I do have a couple of really fun um, Warlock decks. So there's my link to my Hearthpone page. Um, I've made a, um, what did I make? I made a demon token deck, and then I've also made a big warlock with darkest hour. So check out those, they're really fun. I usually don't watch much, much Hearthstone, I play a lot, nice. Let's do this con to contest the board a little bit. But I'm wondering if he doesn't have hex then. He is playing Murlocs. Hmm. No, I was actually the same way though with this dough. Um, so I started playing more so around Witchwood, and I was stuck at rank five for the longest time as well. Until I finally invented the whole secret hunter deck. And that's where you have probably seen a lot of secret hunters around lately. Um, so I invented that deck a couple weeks ago, and that was the deck that brought me to Legend for the first time ever. This guy better not be a lame Murloc guy. Oh, he is definitely a lame Murloc guy. He is definitely lame like that. Well, he already uses ooze. I'm pretty comfortable doing this. For justice. And then do I actually care about this ooze? I probably don't want him to have any Murlocs if he's playing Murlocs. For the light. Yeah, let's do this. Is this way he doesn't have any Murlocs to buff up. Yeah, Plot Twist does work pretty well, Dorian. Yep. So you got Betrug and you have uh, Dorian. That combo is pretty good. It's not really that great, though. Definitely not like a tier 1 deck or anything like that. Not even close. But it's a, it's a fun one. Here we go. Here's recurring villain time. <laughs> and we have the other recurring villain too. So even if he does hex this, we have another one. Oh, baby. I mean, I might even just want a consecration this too. Oh, nope, just kidding, I can't. Oh gosh. Consecration is off the table now. Hmm. What about if I like call to adventure? No, let's just get another minion on the board. I want him to draw Murlocs. I'll get you. Man, that sucks. That was gonna be a really good consecration turn, but now he's just out of range. And now we're taking a lot of damage. Oh my goodness. Woo. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. <laughs> Bloodlust, I know, right? Oh gosh, we need, um, what do we even need at this point? The heck? I mean, Defender of Argus could actually save us here. <laughs> oh, yikes. Uh, all right, so let's punch him. All to arms. Maybe we got our Kangor. Okay, so if we live for one more turn, this Kangor might help us. We're going to Defender of Argus this. Punch him. Wait, no, I don't really want him to get his Murlocs. But he can just punch into the here anyways and then get his Murlocs. For justice. Gonna kill this. I'll get you. And go there. So if we live for one turn, we might have a chance. Because then we can go like Crystal Smith Kangor. Um, true Silver Champion, getting a little bit more health. And then maybe we top deck like a flash of light. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Oh, I like having that Frost Wolf Warlord with the Fiendish Circle. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Most Murloc decks don't run Hex. They run Lackeys, which can discover the Hex, though. Yes, that's true. Wait, has he played a Lackey that can discover Hex? No, he cannot. No. He has not played that Lackey yet. So, yeah, Hex should be fine. Oh, gosh. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, we definitely need to uh, Kangor here. And then True Silver Champion. Or what if we just Consecration, too? Let's just hope that he can't do two damage. <laughs> Either way, I think even if I was at six health, so even if I had used True Silver Champion and I was at six health, he could still probably kill me though, because he would have had one 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 Murloc and then another one one. Oh yes, yes, thank God. All right, so here's where we come. Ar here's where, here's where we turn around, guys. Check check this out. We're gonna True Silver. For justice. We're gonna punch him in the face. Healing up four. We're gonna heal up six. And then our Zandalari Templar is activated. Ooh. Oh my gosh. I was I was about to have a heart attack, guys. <laughs> oh man, I'm lucky he didn't bloodlust, yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, Rogue, Call to Adventure is really nice. Alder Peacekeeper is nice. Um, yeah, I like this, actually. Funky not playing the Brawl on stream? You missed it, Donnie. I was. Yeah. No, so every Wednesday, I always like to warm up with the Brawls. So whenever I start the stream is when I'll play it. But yeah, no, I won five games with the Brawl earlier today. You missed out. <laughs> Murlocs are not even fun to play. Yeah, it's really hit or miss. I mean, you either like steamroll your opponent or you don't. I mean, I mean, a three mana two five is pretty tough to deal with in a lot of cases. Oh, wow. This is a spicy deck. Yes, this is as spicy as they get. <laughs> this is hot, hot, hot. And so far, we're actually doing pretty well with it. I think we're on a win streak, right? Yeah, we've won the last three games with this. I was doing a lot of experimenting with it, so I was losing quite a bit. But we're on a win streak. That's all that counts. All right, so I'm not going to do anything here because if both these minions live, or if my Paragon of Light lives... I can Defender of Argus it, and then it has Life Steal. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> JK, LOL. I mean, he's gonna kill this with his Waggle Pick, but at least I have a 3 2 that's still on the board. Alright, guys, hold on. I'm gonna be right back. I need to go refill my water bottle. BRB. All right, we're good, we're good. Let's true server. If we get our weapon ready, then it makes this Glowstone Technician a lot worse of a tempo play. And let's just hope that he doesn't have the ooze. <laughs> Anyone have any suggestions for this deck? Let me take a peek on that, Mustard. Let's take a peek, sees. Yeah, definitely killing this dude. Alright, Mustard, I'm taking a peek at your deck right now. <laughs> looks decent, looks decent. 
Um, if you're shuffling a lot too, like with um, Plot Twist, see, I don't know how Rafam Scheme is going to work too well in Plot Twist. Because let's say you have like a really good upgraded Rafam Scheme. If you Plot Twist it, then it gets reset back to zero. Maybe you also want the uh, Portal Over Fiend as well too. Could also do this. Yeah, let's get ready to uh, put down, like, what, Recurring Villain and then Elder Peacekeeper next turn. Shriek's good for the Token, Druid, and Zulak. True, true. Do you really face that many, though? I know lately, like, I haven't really faced too many Zulaks or too many Token Druids, but I guess if you're facing a lot of them, then sure, yeah. Definitely go for it. I had Rafam, but I think he's a meme. Rafam actually might help out against warriors, though, Mustard. Yeah, because, I mean, token decks really struggle against warriors because they have so many board clears, you know? So it might actually um, be good. Oof, 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 oof. What, recurring villain and then sword of justice? What do I hit though? Hit one of his minions for sure. I'm not really too worried about my health too because I have Zeliax. So, that'll give me a lot of health back. <clears throat> Drixto, you got a legendary from the new pack? You got Millhouse Manastorm? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if he's the best uh, legendary that you want. You got 1,200 gold, by the way, Drixto. Dude, you're killing it with your gold. That's insane. Oh, he's just killing me with a lot of 1-1s. One oh, hello. I'm definitely going to Alder Peacekeeper that. Um, uh, actually, hold up. I might even Zilliax. Like, Zilliax and then Alder... Or Defender of Argus? Hello. Oh, wait a second here. Zilliax plus Paragon of Light. Oh, that's like the dream. Does this get life steal too? This has life steal. Oh yeah, we're still in this. We still got it. And then I might actually just kill one of these dudes. They don't want him to get another spell back. For justice. Yeah. I don't want him to discover a sap if he uh, uses, like, Shadow Step on it or something like that. And, and, if, like, anything lives, we can just uh, faceless something next turn. Oh, yeah, give me, oh, yeah, give me that life steal. Give me that life steal. Oh, he's getting desperate, too. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. He might, uh, Chef Nomi. No! 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 There's the Chef Nomi. Okay, wait. So we gotta do as much damage as humanly possible this turn. Let's do it like this, so he can't eviscerate this guy. And then... Do I faceless something, or do I just Alder Peacekeeper one of these dudes? Okay, so if he can't kill me, then we just kill him next turn with Consecration and Fatigue Damage. Uh, 
I mean, face, so, uh, no, I can't really face uh, Zilliax as far as the charge goes. It only has rush. But at least if I faceless this guy, then it, he needs to attack into it twice. So he'll attack into this twice. He'll have to attack into this twice. Attack into this once. Attack into this once. And we should just win right now. Yeah, even still, I mean, we have Consecration plus Fatigue Damage, so we should still win. Oh yeah, we had Crystal Smith Kangor too, we would heal back up to full health. Harrison Jones for another Waggle Pick. He was done.